If you have ever found yourself laughing simply because someone else got the giggles, you know there's truth to the expression, laugh and the whole world laughs with you. But what is it about laughter that's so contagious? It all comes down to how our brain responds to the sound of giggles. In 2006, researchers used an fMRI scanner to measure how volunteers' brains responded to a variety of sounds. In addition to positive sounds like laughter and victorious shouts, they also played negative ones such as screaming and retching. All the sounds evoke a reaction in the premotor cortical region of the participants' brains, the area that preps facial muscles to move in response to sound. However, responses were highest for the positive sounds, which could explain why we find ourselves laughing along with others even if we miss the joke. The contagious nature of laughter may have played an important role in early social interactions. Scientists think laughter may have been a precursor to language and that our ancestors may have laughed to show they were friendly and meant no harm to other groups. A 1974 study found that people were more likely to find jokes funny when they were followed by recorded laughter. It's the same reason why you laugh more watching a comedy in a crowded theater than you do watching the same movie alone at home. According to neuroscientists, laughter is 30 times more frequent when people are in groups compared to when they were alone. Your sharing of this video is much appreciated. Give this video a thumbs up and put all your questions and suggestions in the comment section. Make sure you follow us on all other social media and subscribe for more weekly science videos and interesting maths tricks.